Hi there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to connect and move your Revolution Rolly robot. We always want to start with a fully charged robot. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect Rolly from the battery charger. Gently disconnecting. Okay. All right, Rolly, you ready to connect? So I'm just gonna leave my robot there for a second and I'm going to load Easy Builder. All right, so once I'm in Easy Builder, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my bookmarks menu here and click on example projects. And I'm going to select the Rolly project, open. And I'm going to skip the assembly instructions because we did that in our last Rolly episode. Okay, so now I'm looking at the full example project for Rolly. So I'm going to go ahead and power on my robot. And so Rolly's power button is just underneath here. And then I'm going to scroll over to my Wi-Fi connections. And I'm going to look for the EZB V4 Wi-Fi connection. So here I've got EZB V4 Rolly 1 and connect to that. And then back in Easy Builder, I'm going to click the blue connect button. So once I click that, we'll connect to Rolly. All right, so he moved into his initialization position, which means he's ready to go. Okay, so Rolly, what should we do first? You can see we've got lots of different controls here. So first thing I'm going to do is start his camera so we can see what Rolly's looking at. So if I go over to the start, there we go. So now we can see Valentine. Valentine, give us a wave. Perfect. The example project lets you showcase a lot of the cool things that Rolly can do. So let's take a look at a couple of them. If we go over here to the auto position control, we can see a couple actions that have already been pre-programmed. So let's click on Hands Dance, and if I select Execute, Rolly will do the Hands Dance. And then go back to the reset position. Now let's say I want to do Head Scratch. Rolly's thinking really hard about something. Thanks, Rolly. Let's go over to the Robot Dancing Music Control. I'm going to go down to the second one that says, say, whoa, interest. I want you to guess what that does. All right, now I'm going to click play. He says, whoa. So that's the sound Rolly's going to make if he walks towards something, rolls towards something, and you decide he wants to be interested. You could click that sound effect. OK, so let's go now to the first one. I think you're going to like this one and click play. All right, got some music going. All right, nice work, Rolly. Look at this dance we've got going on. And if I want to stop the dance, I'm just going to click stop. And once Rolly finishes the move, goes back to the auto position, nice reset position. We've got the soundboard control. We've got our camera view. We also have something here called the H-Bridge PWM movement. Rolly uses an H-bridge to control his DC motors. An H-bridge converts low voltage power from the EZB pins to the DC motors that are then controlling the treads that Rolly uses to move. So if we look at this control, we can move Rolly forward and back, and we can also change these sliders here. It's gonna change aspects of his movement. So I'm gonna show you. All right, so if I put Rolly over here, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn down the amount of oomph that we're giving Rolly so that uh, he doesn't just take off off my table here. So I'm going to go about halfway. And I can cl either click on the arrows or I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard. So if I want Rolly to go forward a bit, I'm going to click on the forward arrow key. And stop. And now come back towards me. And stop. So I can control the way that Rolly is moving. 
So look to the right, look to the left, and as always, you can follow along with the camera. So right now, Rolly is taking a little tour of our studio. Last but not least, I'm going to demonstrate his tracking feature. So if I go over to the camera device first and click on the tracking tab and select color, the default color for tracking is set to red. So you can see now that Rolly is looking at something red on the floor there. We have a bucket sitting there. So I'm going to turn Rolly to face me. And I'm going to reach over here and get Rolly's red ball. And so right now, if you look in the screen, Rolly can detect the red ball. So if I switch to blue, no more tracking. But he can track the red. Now I'm going to have his servos follow the red ball. So if I just click on the gear icon of the camera control, select servo tracking, and click save. Now, Rolly's servos are going to follow the ball. So if I go way over here, oh, he comes all the way around the corner with me. If I go up, oh, I'm out of reach. Oh, I'm too close. Go back down, go back up. This is a great feature for teaching your robot how to follow something in particular. All right, thanks, Rolly. I'm going to put the ball away now. Ready? There it goes. Good. So that's how you connect Rolly to Easy Builder. Feel free to play with the controls and see more of the features that Rolly has to offer. In this episode, we showed you how to connect to and move the Revolution Rolly Rover. We always want to start with a freshly charged robot. Be sure to gently disconnect from the battery charger. Load Easy Builder and click on the example project for Rolly. Power on the robot and select the Wi-Fi connection for the EZB V4. Click the blue connect button to initialize and connect to Rolly. The example project has a lot of controls that will help you demonstrate and try out all of Rolly's functions. You can use the auto position control to execute pre-programmed movements such as clapping or waving. You can use the soundboard control. You can use the robot dancing music control to execute choreographed dance movements or the microphone, or even look at what Rolly sees through the camera control. The H-Bridge PWM control is how we control the movement of Rolly. Rolly uses an H-Bridge, which is a special type of integrated circuit that converts low voltage power from the EZB V4 pins to the DC motors that run the tracks of Rolly. PWM stands for pulse width modulation, which is a way of controlling how much power is going to these tracks. You can even try out the tracking feature in the camera control. Click on the tracking tab and select the color checkbox. Rolly will now start to follow the default color red. If you click on the gear icon and select enable servo tracking, Rolly will now follow the color red using his neck servos and his arm servos. Thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you next time. What letters are always at the start of the Wi-Fi connection name? What is the name of the control panel used to execute pre-built commands? What is an H-bridge? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.